everyone, Stick here from Maple Studio, how are you all doing? So today we have another affordable bass demo. Hello? Mmm, it's nice. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Music Man Sterling sub-series Stingray 4 bass guitar. Unlike its big brother, this is very, very affordable. It's sub £400, um, it's really well built, it sounds great. Let me take you through what we've got on offer here. Okay, so first off we have the body. Uh, it's a solid hardwood body. That's all I can get off the website, all I can get off the manufacturer's website. So I can't tell you exactly what material it is. All I will say is that it's not too heavy. It's kind of a nice medium weight. It's not gonna break your back if you're gigging with it for a few hours. We have a maple neck with a maple board. Um, really nice feeling neck. It's kind of got a satin finish on it. I think they describe it as a satin tinted neck. Um, so it's not horribly sticky like lacquer and all that kind of stuff. It's just got a really nice feel to it. On the subject of the neck, the nut is slightly narrower than your traditional kind of jazz and P bass. We've got a 38 mm uh, nut width there. So it feels a little bit narrow in the hand up here. Um, and you'll either love it or you hate it. Personally, I find it really, really comfy. It's a really comfy neck to play. <laughs> We've got medium jumbo frets, quite nice and chunky, but they're not massive. We've got good quality tuners, even on an affordable bass, uh, which is a really good plus. They hold tuning well. I've restrung this as usual with my strength of choice, which are the Dodara uh, Pro Steels. Um, and yeah, they tuned up well, it's held tuning great. Really nice to use. That's <laughs> funny, it's all on camera. Going back to the neck quickly, something that Music Man offer, which not many uh, manufacturers do, is this very funky little wheel in here. I don't know if that'll come through with the black wheel and the black pick guard, uh, but it's a truss rod adjustment. Um, so for those of you who don't know, usually to adjust the truss rod, you'll have to stick an Allen key, uh, take a, a cover off the top of the neck um, and stick an Allen key in there, or you have to sort of wedge an Allen key in a groove down here, or on some of the more vintage style guitars, you actually have to take the neck off and adjust them. So having this little wheel in here where you just shove an Allen key in, give it a quick turn, really cool feature. On the subject of the neck still, we've got a six bolt-on neck, or six screw bolt-on neck, so it's really solid. And you can just see up here the battery cover for the active electronics, which we'll come on to in a minute. Uh, Pickup wise, we've got one fat humbucker in here, that's very typical of your classic Stingray bass. Um, the bridge is a good solid bridge, modelled obviously on the traditional kind of Music Man bridge again. It's fully adjustable, so you're going to get all your intonation, all your action that you want out of this bridge. It's not limiting in any way, which is not really nice. Control wise, you can see we've got a volume at the front and then we have the two bad EQ. So we've got basically a treble and a bass, which we will um, I'll go over all the sounds and how much boost and cut we've got going on on each one when we plug it in. And we've got the jack socket at the back here, so a front loading jack socket. Um, and as you can see, the control cavity, there's no cavity plate on the back, so it's routed into the body. Very simple, If you should you want to change anything, get your grip your fingers in there and tweak stuff. Um, and you can see we've got this classic teardrop pick guard here. So it pretty much looks like a standard music man. If you flip it over, it says, made in Indonesia. Don't let that put you off though. This looks, feels, plays excellent. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through the two band EQ settings. I'll probably go forward in two steps and back in two steps to give you an idea of the cut and boost on offer. Uh, I'll do that individually for the treble and the bass. Um, bass gear wise, today I'm using the TC Electronics RH450 210 combo. Been absolutely blown away with this. I've got to try and get a hold of one. Uh, and I'm using the DI out feature, so I'm using taking that pre-EQ, pre-processing anything straight into the desk. So what you're hearing is the true tonal characteristics of the bass. So let me give you an idea of what we've got on offer here.
Okay, so there you go, that's the Music Man Sterling Sub-Series Stingray 4 Bass Guitar. Um, this one has kindly been on loan to me from Anderton's Music Store in Guildford. Click the link on look at the description and all that kind of stuff and you'll see all the details in there. Um, and it comes in at around £320. It's another steal. Um, build quality, finish, tones, everything about this is awesome. Uh, I've had it for a couple of weeks and yeah, I've been playing it loads. Love it. I don't really want to give this one back, but you know, can't have everything. So, there you go. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you're in a music store, check one of these bad boys out and let me know what you think. Take it easy, all. Stick out. Bye. <coughs>